Yeah, yeah, it was home brewing. Uh, it kind of became popular in the 1980s. Um, I kind of got caught by the bug, and so I thought, oh, that's something, like, something fun to do. So started brewing, and it was fun, and it was cheap, and it was a nice little hobby. I had a long career as a mechanical engineer. I worked for an oil refinery. Um, I mean, prior to that, I was in the military, uh, nuclear power in, uh, in the Navy. And uh, prior to that, I was a carpenter. So I had a lot of different skills that I developed over the years, and I thought for sure I can make a little brewery and make it happen. I live on a property that used to be a dairy farm, and it's one of the oldest surviving milk houses in the area because it's all brick. Most of them were made out of wood, and they would just fall apart. And then I built a little brewery in there, small little one-barrel system, and uh, I was able to make some really good beers on it. And uh, that's when I kind of got the idea that I could do this as a business. The little milk house is like, you know, a couple hundred feet from the creek, so. It's just the logical. I like the name. I like the sound of the name, and uh, it's just fun to draw people in from the area who know about Hickory Creek. You know, we're just a laid-back, nice place to come and have a beer. Um, we're always looking at expanding and, and increasing the uh, experience of coming here and having having our good craft beer. Uh, we we don't have a kitchen. We encourage people to eat, bring in food, order food in. Quite often, we'll have food trucks on the weekends. Uh, everything I brew, I brew with passion. We have some flagships. Um, the Kolsch is our number one seller. Chipmunk, the, the Belgian Triple, is really good. Um, our brown ale is really popular, and our porter, our imperial porter, really popular. So those are those will probably always be around. People are asking me, what are you, what's next coming? What's coming down the pike? I was like, we're doing a Maybach. What's a Maybach? Well, you're gonna find out. It's amazing to see the people's reaction when I put on a new beer. And not that it's a surprise, but it's just always gratifying to, to get, the, get to that point. The people like my beer, so that's, that's what's important to me.